Good evening to Good evening, teacher. Teacher. We're going to wait just a few minutes, one minute only, just to wait for the other people to come to the class. If you have questions, of course, we can check those. Okay, welcome to the class, everybody. This is the class of today. And uh, here is the question for today. So for you to participate, definitely. And as usual, we're going to go and check the attendance, okay? So here we go. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chévez. Carmen Jasmine López Martínez. Present. Nice. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baires Solórzano. Present, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Good evening. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Okay. So today is Friday and that is very good. So we can check. Oh, Ana Salmi is here. I'm going to check into them. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Okay. 
Perfect. So I really know, I know that you really like grammar. So guess what? Today we're going to check grammar. Nice. So it's going to be very easy. Everything is easy, right? So tag questions. These are the tag questions. So, well, first of all, when do we use the tag questions? We use the questions to start a conversation, express an emotion, share a thought, and confirm information. I guess in Spanish, it's more for confirm information. Uh, it's more like that, right? But in English, well, you can use it in different ways. So here is it, here is the grammar. So a question tag is a short question at the end of a statement. Question tags are used when asking for agreement or confirmation. So maybe those are the most common agreement. It's like, really? Do you really believe something like that one, right? So we have a, in a positive statement, and this is very important, if you are saying something affirmative, then the tag question is going to be negative. So for example, you are a student, aren't you? So a subject pronoun comes after auxiliary, a model verb or a form of the verb to be, okay? If we are saying something negative, I mean a negative statement, then we're going to use an affirmative question tag. So for example, Mary isn't a teacher, is she? So a subject pronoun is used to replace the noun or noun phrase. So that is it. I mean, there's no more, more things. The problem is that we need to listen to it. Well, we need to pay attention to the verbs that we're using, to the tense that you're using, right? It's possible to use this in simple present, in past, in future, in any tense that you may want to use. Okay, also it's very, very, very important, the intonation and the meaning. So intonation is the rise and fall of the voice in speaking. So rising intonation is like when you go up, right? John doesn't speak Spanish, does he? So that is the intonation into that kind of sentence. Uh, John doesn't speak English, does he? Okay. And uh, if the intonation of the question tag goes up, it means you are not sure and you want to know the answer. So intonation is very important when you use that question. So if it's rising the intonation, that means that you are asking if that is true or not. Really, is that so? So John doesn't speak Spanish, does he? So does he speak or not? What is the answer? Falling intonation. So just uh, John doesn't speak English Spanish, does he? Can you see the difference? It's different. So if the intonation of the question tag goes down, it means you are checking or confirming information that we are sure of. It can also be used when making a conversation. So if, it's, if the intonation goes up, you want to know, is that true or not? If the intonation goes down, you know, but you just confirm it, right? So there are two ways of the intonation. Jean doesn't speak Spanish, does he? Or Jean doesn't speak Spanish, does he? That is the difference. Now, do you have any question? Don't you? Do you have questions before we move on? Why change, teacher? Why change in the... I'm sorry, there was a cut up. Uh -huh. um, it's grammar. I mean, if the sentence is affirmative, 
the tag question is negative. And that is grammar, it's a rule. If the question is negative, I mean, if the statement is negative, the question tag is affirmative, grammar. So it's the opposite, always, all the time. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Good so, evening, teacher. hello, Sorry. go ahead. Uh, how do you know it is a reason or a racing. solid intonation? Because that depends on you, what you want to express. I mean, if you want to ask if it that is true. same, but depends uh, on my, okay. Uh, it depends on the intonation, right? So that happens in English all the time. I mean, it's not the same to say the window is open. That to say the window is open is the same sentence. Here, the problem is that the meaning of that one is going to depend on the intonation. So if you say, mm -hmm. um, do you like pizza, don't you? So I'm asking you, don't you? Do you like pizza or not? But if I say, you like pizza, don't you? And case, I know that you it's like- raining. Uh, It's raining or it's raining. Uh -huh. So okay. it's like that. So that is okay. it. So rising okay. is you're asking about if it's this true. And okay. uh, in intonation that it goes down is like confirming, right? I know that you like it. Okay. I want to know okay. it. If that is for sure. Okay. Thank you. You are welcome. Any other questions? Anybody? Yeah. Move your back. No more questions. Okay. So uh, a little bit more, of course. This is like uh, with different verbs different situations okay so question tags are used when asking for agreement or confirmation as we checked um so for example you are a student aren't you so in this case we have positive statements and negative tag questions you are a student aren't you he is very busy isn't he the opposite just remember it's going to be the opposite he was happy, wasn't he? They were surprised, weren't they? So you can use the tag questions in any tense, present, past, future, and to the infinite and beyond. Teacher, in the case, the pronoun uh, is I. This yeah, is I a have an example. Like okay. It's an exception, yeah. Yeah. We're gonna check into that one, okay? So, so you can see that it's going to be the opposite. Affirmative, I mean negative, right? If this is negative, then the other one is affirmative. Wilfredo. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I, I have a question. Go ahead. Um, for example, uh, I, I wanna know if, for example, somebody asked me, uh, are you studying the university? Mm -hmm. It is, it is, uh, it is um, formal, or informal ways to answer. For example, if somebody asks me, are you studying the university? Uh, or another people have to say, um, he, um, let me see. You are studying the university, maybe. Um, somebody can say, he, he isn't. The thing is that this is different than question and answer. So these statements, the positive statement and the negative tag question is said by the same person. It's not a question and answer. So it's like, imagine that we're here speaking and then I say, hey, Wilfredo, um, you're watching the game tomorrow, aren't you? So I'm confirming, but I'm, I say the, all the sentence. It's not okay. that I'm, I, I ask a question and then you ask answer with a tag question. So the same person asked everything, the statement and the tag question. I'm okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, so there are other verbs here. So you speak English, don't you? Ah, this is simply present tense. So we're going to use then the auxiliary. So if this is negative, for example, if this is, you don't speak English, do you? It's going to be affirmative to that question, okay? 
So, but in this case, this one is uh, affirmative. And then the third question is negative, but with the auxiliary, not with the verb, with the auxiliary. That is very important. The next one says he studies, remember the third uh, person rule, of course. He studies Spanish, doesn't he? Okay. You studied for the test. So this is past. You studied for the test, didn't you? So the auxiliary is in past. Okay, so it has to match, okay, with the tense. So we have other examples. Uh, you have studied all week, haven't you? Because this is present perfect. The auxiliary is have. So since the auxiliary is have, then we're going to use the auxiliary here. And this is past perfect. You had a right before he left, hadn't you? So with the auxiliary of the past perfect, that is going to be had. With will, the same, right? You will pass the exam, won't you? Because it's a negative. You can speak two languages, can you? You could do it for me, couldn't you? We must be patient, mustn't we? You should go now, shouldn't you? You would like a new job, wouldn't you? So with all the models, we're going to use the model. If this is affirmative, this is negative. If this is negative, this is affirmative. That's the only thing. But there are some exceptions. So if I'm, I'm using the first person with the verb to be, I'm going to say, for example, I am late, aren't I? So we are not going to use am in the tag question. It's going to be aren't I, okay? Same with the past tense. I was late, weren't I? Okay, that is an exception. And also when we use let's go, for example, let's, Let's go home. And the, the question is not going to be let's, it's going to be shall, shall we? So those are exceptions, my friends, that you need to remember when you go to Florida, because it's important that they understand you very well, okay? So questions. Teacher. Go ahead. Why, why uh, use shall we uh, for let's go? It's a rule, it's grammar. It's because it's not possible to use let's go or let something in negative. I mean, there's, it's not possible to say let's and go, right? That doesn't exist. So in that case, it's going to be shall, shall, shall we? Shall sounds polite. Shall is a little bit more polite, so yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, because in grammar, let's is not I possible. remember a movie with Jennifer Lopez, Show the Dance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is actually, is, is something, I mean, if you are going to dance for all the gentlemen, of course, <laughs> when you go to other, to a part in English, that is the question that you need to ask. Shall we dance? Shall we dance? Okay. okay. Maybe, would you, would you like to dance? It's also okay. But the question is, shall we? Shall we, shall we go? Shall we? Shall we have a drink? Anything like that is very really polite. Okay. And uh, the the thing is that one that is not, there is no negative for let's, right? And also the same happens with I'm. Uh, remember that here we're going to use contractions, okay? So with I'm, it's not possible to contract. So that's why, okay? Good, any other uh, question? Uh -huh. <laughs> Meaning the same? What do you mean? Meaning, significa lo mismo? A shawl. In español, shawl, shawl no tiene significado. It doesn't exist. Okay, so it's like something that is very polite. Deberíamos, podríamos, quisieras. But we use wool or cool or something like that. So shawl in Spanish, the exact word, is, uh, is different. And, uh, but you can use it almost in the same way as let's go. I mean, if you say let's go, 
is like we're friends. Hey, let's go to a party. But if we are working together, we can say, shall we go to a party? We shall go. Uh, I so can use the space. Uh, we can use shall at the beginning, but not, uh, I mean, let's, it's not possible to use that here. So shall is okay. another model that is very formal. Okay. In the past teacher, would they use the pronouns? The I in the verb to be. I was late. Wearing I. Wearing. Wearing I. Yeah. Okay. Why, uh, why, why not use was? Sometimes it's possible, but that those are a little bit different rules because we're going to check that one. We were going to see some some uh, clauses, so it's possible. Yeah. So, for example, do you remember that we were saying that, for example, when you use wish. Uh, you say, I wish I were. Uh -huh. so sometimes it's possible to say, I. Uh, when the conditional, when the you. Exactly. So there are different rules uh -huh. for different situations. Okay. Good. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Teacher. Go ahead. Uh, uh, tell me, you please. Uh, yes, I understand understand the formula for me for question tag is change the ask is uh, is question the question tag is yes the question is post negative the question tag is positive yeah that is correct so remember that the first part the first part is not a question, it's a statement, something that yeah. you say. And the other one is a type question that you add to confirm. Like in Spanish, but in Spanish, we don't use this one. In Spanish, it's like, va a ser la fiesta, verdad? Ese no. verdad is the type. I, I repeat in the end. Yeah, so you have yeah. to use either the verb or either the auxiliar, depending on the tense that you're using. Um, in, a, in, a, in the other one. I mean, just remember that affirmative, then the tag question is negative. Or negative, then the tag question is affirmative. That well, is it's, well, it's possible that the tag question give emphasis. It's possible. Emphasis for, for, for the sentence. For yeah. The... So it's like when you're confirming, right? It's like, uh, okay. like the same. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you're going to the party, aren't you? So it's oh, like, yeah. uh, you, you're really going, right? Because I don't want to be there alone. I need you there. So that is it. That is the, the meaning. So you're confirming, but the confirmation can be in many ways. But it's for you to ask if something is true or if, if something is going to really happen. I mean, confirming. So that is that is the objective of the tag questions. Yeah. Nice. Do you have any other question that you can go? Uh -huh. uh, what is the, the, the formula, teacher? Uh, well, the formula is that you need to be careful about the tense that you use here. So this is possible to be used in any tense, in present, in past, okay. future. Uh -huh. So if you use this in past, this is in past. But the only formula that you need to remember is that if this is affirmative, this is negative. Okay. If, this is, if this is negative, if this is a, a affirmative. And remember that for, for example, uh, for the type questions, we're going to use the auxiliars. Okay, the auxiliars. Here, because the verb to be there, there is no auxiliar when we use the verb to be, right? That's why we don't have an auxiliar. But for, uh, and also for the models. In the models, the model is like the auxiliar. So the verb is like the secondary and the model is the auxiliary. So we are going to use the auxiliary as well. But for the rest, it's going to be like the, um, the auxiliary verb or the main verb if it's the verb to be or the model. That is it. All right. Great. Um, the synthesis are, uh, are complement or, or, or use only that you? Don't you, for example. And no, the tag question is going to be with, together with the sentence. So first you say the, the sentence, 
And then you have the tag question. So the tag question is to confirm about the sentence. So you are confirming. So that's why they are together. Ah, okay. So I you speak English, uh, don't you? Exactly. So it's, it's yeah. a court, it's a match. It's a match ah. between both. It's like a marriage. Confirmation or affirmation. Exactly. When you want to confirm, right? So when you want to confirm, uh, I mean, you can use really or, or something like that, but tag questions are very common in English. So it's a very good idea that we start using them, of course. Is when I affirmation. Uh, well, it can be, this can be affirmative or negative. And this is yes, going yes. to be the opposite. Remember that is for confirming, confirming or to, to ask if something is actually true. The same, the same, the same, confirm. Yeah. It's, uh, it's going yes. to be together, just to confirm the first idea. So there are two ideas. The first one, the first one is when you say something, and the second one is to, to emphasize, to confirm the emphasize. first. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. Depend of uh, the, 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 the sentences. Yes, is, is, Affirmary, the question tag is negative. That is correct. And the opposite. Yeah, of course. Okay. Okay. Clear as horchata. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I have... sorry, teacher. Go ahead. According according this, I have the platform and I don't know why, but I have all the answers grown for example i'm going to tell you one one sent one sentence uh, she wasn't surprised and i put was she mm -hmm. and it's bad it's wrong in the in platform the, in the platform okay we're yeah. going to check into that one sometimes there are many reasons yeah i, I have my my hair oh my god i know <laughs> i know I, that i do it many many times because it's wrong i don't know what happened with me <laughs> And no, sometimes it's not you, don't worry. <laughs> and I, I get the stress. My God. <laughs> yeah, I know that sometimes it's stressful, but I mean, it's like the exercise that okay, we're going to have to put the I'm going to send you because yeah, all please. the answers at the platform are wrong for me. But we're going to check, don't worry. Yeah, so, okay. Of course, we're going to. Okay. I have some other exercises here. Okay, this is like uh, to emphasize this one, right? So the verb tense is this one. And here is this, if the sentence is affirmative, then the tag question is negative. And if the sentence is negative, then the tag question is affirmative. So for example, your name is Pedro, isn't it? Isn't it because we're talking about the name, right? She's never late, is she? Okay. In the present, uh, simple present tense, you live downstairs, don't you? Because this is simple present. You don't live here, do you? Okay. For the past simple, she studied biology, didn't she? They didn't know, did they? For the past continuous, you were joking, weren't you? You weren't joking. Were you? So it's exactly the other one, right? Uh, for the present perfect, you've done this before, haven't you? You haven't finished yet, have you? For the past perfect, he had been in the war, hadn't he? They had never been there, had they? Okay. And for will, that is like future, right? You'll be okay, won't you? We won't arrive on time, will we? And for the models, remember that the models are can, cool, may, might, anything like that. It's going to be like this. She can speak English, can she? You shouldn't be here, should you? So you can see here that it's exactly the opposite. I mean, the affirmative and negative. Negative, affirmative. So it's exactly that. That's the only thing that we need to be careful. And remember that we use the auxiliar when applicable. That is 
the most important thing in this one. So you understood, didn't you? No, yes, maybe. Practice, remember that I know, I know that this kind of grammar sometimes is a little bit confused. There are two steps. First, we need to understand. Then we need to practice. Sadly, we don't have a lot of time to practice here in the class. We need to check the book. We need to check many things, but you can practice. So, I mean, even in the chat, if you want to send audios and practice with some friends and say, hey, hello, Anna Salmi, how are you today? And practice in English. You can do that one. I mean, there, there are many tools. If you don't have people to practice with there at home or at work, I mean, in the chat, you can, you can tell how was your day, tell anything and say hello. And if somebody has a problem, we can help them in English. So we can practice in many ways, many, many ways. It's not just for the exercises. That is, of course, very good. Um, but it's for anything that you may want. And I'm there for you to help you for anything, anything except money, of course. So that is it. Any questions? Okay, so we're gonna go to the book that is actually about that one, okay? How to use tag questions. And it says, look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercise. Let's see. Um, Who's going to help me? Uh, Patricia, could you please help me read in this box? Okay. Uh, tag question. Turn a statement into a question when use them to check information that, that we think is true. Please continue. Okay. Uh, if the main clause is possible, if positive, the tag question is negative. The content manager revise to the revise. list, revise the list of keywords, didn't he? He is change of design or new web page, isn't he? If the main clause is negative, the tag question is positive. He isn't sure if of designing or new web page, is, it, is he? There wasn't an increase in we traffic yesterday, was there? Very good. Well, in the second one, the last one, there is an error that is not we, it's our traffic. Anyways, so... Um, this is the same rules. I mean, as you can see, it's exactly, exactly the same that we were checking in the other examples. And now we are going to practice, of course. So let's practice by writing, okay? I'm going to give you a few minutes and then you are going to write a tag question for each of the sentences. So please take a pen or a pencil and paper and try to write the answers, okay? The tag questions. And I'm gonna be here, okay? If you have questions. I will give you a few minutes for you to finish all the six tag questions.
try to identify the subject. That is also very important. You finish, didn't you? Yes, no, maybe. Do you need more time? Yes, teacher. Okay. Oh, thank you. Of course. Let's wait a few more minutes. Yeah, thank you. Of course. Teacher, when, when will, um, what do you say? When we, how do you say? When will the last class? The last class is going to be uh, Monday, 6th of June. 6th of June, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh -huh. That day is the survey. That day is a Saturday, yeah. Okay, thank you, teacher. So probably we will be finishing the book, the whole book, the next Friday. Friday. So mm -hmm. on Monday, we are going to practice, do some activities, maybe some readings, and do the survey. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome.
Okay, let's check them together. I will say the sentence and you say the tag question and we check if it was correct. So number one, it says, every day millions of individuals use the internet to search for information. Uh -huh. Aren't they? Aren't they? Everybody agrees? Don't they? <laughs> John Day, everybody agrees. <laughs> Which is the correct one? Okay, for a doesn't. We have three. Uh, we have different things. Here. Okay, here what we need to check is which one is the verb. What is the verb? The verb. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. No, the it's, verb, the verb, not the, not no, the, the verb. Use. Use, 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 use. It's a search. Ah, okay, no. so use, use, that means that this is simple present tense. So, mm -hmm. and now what yeah. is the subject? The subject is the million of individuals, of individuals, right? So then it's going to be every day millions of individuals oh. using <clears throat> to search for the information. Don't they? Don't they? Don't they? Because the verb is use. Simple present. Do you, does he use? Uh, so it's going to be use. There's no verb to be here. So since this is the verb, then the tag question is going to be with simple present tense, but in negative. So don't they? Okay. Good. Let's check number two. It says search marketing isn't divided into three main categories. Aren't. Aren't. Aren't what? Aren't. Isn't it? Isn't it? Everybody agrees? Isn't it? It's it. It. Is it sit? Okay. Or so, is it? Okay, so let's analyze. <laughs> what is the verb in this sentence? The verb to be is. Is yeah. the verb to be. be? Yeah, because divided here is a, yeah. an adjective. It's yes. not a verb. Yes. It's not the main verb. Yes. So, no, and, it's, it's, and it's negative. Yeah. So remember negative. that. If the sentence is negative, positive. then the tag positive. question is affirmative. So yes, it's correct. It's going to be search marketing isn't divided into three main categories. Is, is it, it? Is it? Okay. Is, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Uh -huh. is is it? it? Yes, it is. Oh, I don't remember anything like that. Yes. Okay. Number three, your business appears in the first search results. Aha. Uh -huh. Isn't it? I'm sorry? Isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, for me it's isn't it. Isn't it? Everybody agrees? Doesn't it? No. Doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you? Oh are, are you? Are you? Okay, again, which one is the verb here? Appears. 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 No verb to be, right? Yeah, does. So it's going to be then doesn't eat. And it. Okay. Doesn't eat. So that is a key. Yeah. We'll see the verb I here. Change. What I is the question, that. teacher? <laughs> the question, that question is going to be doesn't eat. Doesn't eat. Doesn't. 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 Uh -huh. In negative. Doesn't. Okay. Very good. Number four, it says SEO is a process of gaining presence through unpaid efforts. Is he is in it? Mm, is or isn't? Isn't. 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 The exactly. Isn't. So, very good. Number four is nice. Nice. <laughs> so, isn't it? Isn't. So, yes. Very good. Number five, it isn't uncommon for search marketing efforts to lack strategic guidance. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Very it, good. 
Nice, we're getting there. <laughs> it's it. Very good. It's it. And the last one says the first step of any search marketing strategy is planning. Isn't it? Is it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? it. Yeah. Yes. Isn't it? Isn't it? Very good. Yeah, isn't it? Very good. Nice. We're getting there. So you see that you just need to pay attention on some things and then you will be able to, to do it. Right? So it says building vocabulary. We're not going to move on with the, with the book, of course. Uh, match the terms to their corresponding meanings. Check your answers with a partner. And we have five. It says search engine, web traffic, search query, landing page, S-E-R-P, that is search engine result page. We're going to read one by one, and then we're going to check into that one. So let's see. Lourdes, could you please read the first one? Okay. A question entered into a web search engine. Very good. So it's a question entered into a web search engine. What is that? What do you believe? Search engine. Search query. Oh, okay. We have search engine and search query. Mm. A question entered into a web search engine. Search. Yeah, it's search engine, I guess. I, I believe that there is an error in, the error is here. Uh, I mean, because it's a search engine, right? Landing, uh, no, there is no. Okay, let's, let's continue and check out the other one, okay? So um, let's see, Sandra Gladys, could you please read the second one? Second one. Well, well traffic. Uh, and here the concept, please. The amount, the amount of data sent and received by visitors to a website. Okay, so the amount of data sent and received by visitors to a website. Mm -hmm. That is clear. What is that? Web, web traffic. traffic. Web yeah. traffic. Very good. Web traffic. So we have that one already. The next one is going to be for Carla Vasquez, my cousin. <laughs> the, the listening. The listing. The, list, the, li the listing of results that are returned by the search engine in response to keyword query. Okay, now what is this one? Mm, I think that is. Search, search engine result page. Search engine result page. Mm -hmm. Actually, it makes a match. Okay. Let's say that it might be that one. Search query. Search query. Search query. Search query. Yeah. Search query. Search query. Okay. Very good. Okay, the next one is going to be for Ada Patricia. A software system that at is designed to search for information on, on the World Wide Web. Okay, so it's a software system that is designed to search for information in the World Wide Web. So what is that? Is ERP. SERP, yeah, that makes sense. Very good. And the last one is going to be for, let's see who else has a red. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Caldames. They, I don't know. So let's go. Okay. Anyway, anyway, say that a digital can arrive at the at or land. I guess this is very easy. What is that? Uh, the mm -hmm. search, um, search query. It's not such query. Actually, it's landing page, mm -hmm. right? It's where you arrive whenever you click on something. Okay, I don't think there are new vocabulary here, so let's move on. Uh, we're not gonna do this, and we're not gonna do this. No, not at all. Okay. 
Um, so it says, I will be able to discuss different job profiles required in digital marketing. And then it says, number one, let's start. How do you get started to become an e-commerce specialist? Mm, that is a tough question. What do you believe? What do you think about this? How do you get started to become an e-commerce specialist? No comments? I believe it's kind of difficult actually to be a specialist in e-commerce. It takes a lot of time. Maybe you need to study some things in social media and coding behaviors, things like that. And the next question says, what qualifications are required to be a digital marketing manager? This is for a manager. What do you believe? And he has to, he or she has to be very creative. Very good, very creative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and they have to, they have to know a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of about the, the market, the products, I think. Yeah, a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge about not only strategies, but also about some, maybe not coding, but some social media behavior and things mm -hmm. like that. Very good. So it says build the vocabulary, label the descriptions with the correct name of the job. So there are different jobs, data analyst, content manager, web designer, chief digital officer, web manager, and community manager. So we're gonna read and try to see what is the answer for the job. Um, Walter, could you please read the first one, number one? Okay. An individual who buildings and runs a management online community. Okay, so what is the answer for that, everybody? An individual who builds, grows- And community. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Go ahead. Community manager. Community manager. Yeah, that is the one. Perfect. Number two is for Jasmine. This job is mainly related to the stylist and layout of face with context. Context manager. Okay, yeah, this job is mainly related to the styling and layout pages with content, including text and images. Um, styling and layout of web. What do you say? Did you say, which one is the one that you say? Uh, in my opinion, maybe it's content manager. Content manager, everybody agrees? Yeah, no. in my web opinion, design. web design. Web, web, web design. design, yeah. Okay. It might be as well, okay. Let's check the other ones and see how it goes. Number three is going to be for um, Sander Romero. Not possible, floor. Not possible, Zulma. Uh, what number, teacher? Number three, please. Okay, this person collects, processes, and performs a statistical analysis of data. Okay, so this person collects, processes, and performs statistical analysis of data. Which one is that one? That is very easy. Data analyst. Very good, is the analyst. Nice, thanks, Shulma. The next one is going to be for Lourdes. Okay. 
Number four, someone who supervises the content presented on website and blogs. Okay, someone uh, who supervises, uh -huh. Maybe chief digital officer or web designer. Web, okay, web designer. It says supervises, so maybe chief, it might be something like that. Ah, chief, yes, yes, yes. It could be chief or it could be even content manager. Okay, oh, failure number five. Hello, teacher. Bonjour. And I'm giving a whole help a company. I'll go be competing tradition business. <laughs> to the it at once, right? So an individual who helps a company grow by converting traditional businesses to digital one. So what will be that one? Chief digital officers. That is the chief digital officer, definitely. That is the one. Good. Number six, Pamela. Not possible. Okay. Let's see Jose Ernesto, number six. A person in charge of developing, managing, and maintaining websites. Okay. A person in charge of developing, managing, and maintaining uh, websites. What will be this one? Mm, teacher. Come. Developing, managing, and maintaining websites. I think it's community manager, teacher. Community manager, but it says web, so I believe it's web designer or web manager, right? Oh, yeah, please. Very good. No problem. Thank you. There are no new vocabulary in this one, so let's check the other one. Oh, but it's time for us to check the attendance. Okay, my friends. Okay, let's see. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Jasmine Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Present teacher. Good. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Dear teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Good evening. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramirez. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramirez. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present the job. Good. Zulma Rosabra López García. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present the job. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present the job. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present the job. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltran. Present. Good. Perfect. Um, actually, I guess it's a good idea for us to practice a little bit more the tag questions. So, what we are going to do is we're going to write four sentences with tag questions. Two affirmative negative and two negative affirmative. 
please use different tenses, present, past, future. Write the four sentences, and then we are going to share with the class. If you have questions, of course, I will be here. I'm going to check something. Okay, it seems that I found the error that you are having, Rose, with the exercise on the platform. I wanna show you. Uh, the problem is, is the platform actually. So it's possible for you to get a correct, but since here is the question mark already, you don't have to put the, the question mark. You just have to put the, uh, to type the, the words and then it's going to accept everything. Okay, because so for, at the time I put the question mark. Uh huh. So that's uh, why he's not taking it. So everybody for the 3.7 homework, you need to enter only the words and not the question, question mark. mark. No question mark on 3.7, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Good. Has everybody finished <clears throat> the little exercise? Not yet, I guess. I will give you a few more minutes, maybe two or three.
Has everybody finished? Let's practice then. So please share with the class your sentences with questions that I want to check. The first one is going to be, let's see. Na, 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 na. Huawei Y9SO. I don't know who you are, but you are the first one. Who is Huawei Y9SO? I don't know, right? I guess it's not. Uh, let's see. Who can it be? I don't know who that person is. No, I don't know. I was checking all the names, but I don't know who that person is. Are you listening to me, Huawei Y9SO? Hello from the other side. I guess not possible. Okay, so, Ada Patricia. You haven't seen this movie? Have you? Good, nice. The next one. Um. She is a doctor, is she? She is? Isn't she? Isn't she? Yeah, because she is a doctor, isn't she? Okay, the next one. Um, he, he isn't, he, he isn't here, he isn't here. Okay. Is he? Okay. Uh -huh. And um, I don't need to finish homework this today. Um, do I? Very good. Perfect. Nice, Ada Patricia. Very good. Now we're going to listen to Ophelia Orishana Arce de Padilla. No, I don't know if you are from Padilla. Hello, teacher. Ah, you are Huawei. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we discover here the person, but you're connected twice. That's why. That, not a problem. Okay. Um, Seria cheese. I play a soccer. There is no a soccer. Okay. So in that way, it's going to be like she plays soccer. Mm -hmm. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, she's not a soccer. So that is the other way. So she doesn't play soccer. In that case, mm -hmm. it's going to be she doesn't play soccer. Does she? Does she? Is, mm -hmm. Does she is, uh, I play soccer? You like soccer, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. <laughs> and the last one. Sería, she's not. She's not a place I know. So, so it's the same as the other one. Okay, not a problem. Perfect. That was good. Thank you, Ophelia. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's check with Carla Vasquez, my cousin. Okay. Um, number one, they didn't go to class last week, did they? Good. You aren't sure about, about this point, are you? Good. And... Penguins can't fly, can they? Very good. Uh, he will come, won't he? Very good, perfect. Those are very nice. Now we're going to check with Osmin. Okay, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Mm -hmm. 
she eats chocolate. Doesn't she? She, she is. Uh, she eat, eats. The, uh, eats. Uh, eat, uh -huh. Yeah. Hmm. She eats chocolate. Doesn't she? Okay, very good. Perfect. She can be chocolate, of course. Okay. He. You like play guitar? He. What, what, what? He doesn't. Doesn't he? Excuse me. Doesn't, doesn't he? Okay, excuse me. okay yeah. very good. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, they play uh, basketball. Uh, doesn't play. Don't they? Don't they? Okay. Yeah. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Don't they? Don't they? Yeah. 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 Okay, very good, man. That was very nice. Now, yeah. Miss Salgado. Okay. Um, we are going to we are going to the movie on Sunday, aren't we? Okay. Yeah. Okay. They visited Guatemala last year. Didn't they? Good. Yeah. Yep, didn't. Yeah, yeah. Didn't. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because it's past. Okay. I have been in Germany. Haven't I? Okay. Yeah, it's correct. Have it's I? correct. Yeah. Okay. My mother had never been in Madrid. Has she? Has she? Okay. Very and, good. Huh? Oh, I have one. I never arrived late at work. Isn't I? No. no. Aren't I? Aren't, aren't I? Oh, but yes. You say I yes, never arrived. Yes, no, yes. The only thing it's is me. that you say arrive. So if you use arrive, you're not going to use the verb to be in the other one. So it's going to be I never arrive late to work. Don't I? Ah, uh, yes, don't, yes. Okay. Yeah, because it's going to be simple present, no uh, verb. Yes, okay. Teacher, give me a question. Oh, go ahead. Please. Uh, uh, what is the correct pronunciation? It? Uh, it, no. The, it, it, uh, yes, it's correct, the pronunciation. It's correct, it's correct. Okay, okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Okay, Walter Mauricio Araujo. <clears throat> okay. Uh, she can play in soccer. And can? Can she? Can she? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, she lives in Madrid. And didn't she? Okay. She lived in Madrid, didn't she? Good. He... Only two teachers. Only two. <laughs> okay. Okay, but they were good. Nice. Now, uh, Gloria Elizabeth. Okay. Um, the parents have retired, haven't they? Okay. Uh, number two, the phone and the right, the ring. I'm sorry, could you please repeat that one? Okay, the phone, the ring, el timbre del teléfono. I got it, yeah. And the third question? Did it? Did it, okay. Okay. It was raining. Raining that. Um, they wasn't it? Wasn't it? Okay. Okay. Your mom hadn't met him before. Uh, has she? Has has she? Has she? Has she? Has she? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Very good. I I write had, but no. I had. Ah, okay. If it's had, that's good. But then it's the other one. hadn't. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Anna, tell me. 
You work every day, don't you? Good. My mom cooks delicious, doesn't she? Okay. My son enjoys to learn different language, doesn't he? Okay. My husband likes travel, doesn't he? Very good. Perfect. Uh, go ahead. Uh, my sister wants to go to Europe, don't they? Mm, you say my sister or sisters? Sisters. Ah, okay, good. Sisters. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't pronounce the plural. I know, don't sorry. worry. Sometimes, you know, it's not only that, but sometimes in the phone and interference, there are many things that happen. So that's why sometimes I want to clarify. Thank you, teacher. Good. Wilfredo. Um, let me check, teacher. Okay. You have to make a uh, all, all sentence. Four, uh, two affirmative negative and two negative affirmative. Let me see, but I I I just I find in the what page. Excuse me, what page? Uh, you are working on manual. Uh, it's in the notebook, not in the manual. So it's free. It's an exercise that is not in the book. Okay. <clears throat> For example, my children, my children go to play soccer. Aren't they? Okay. My children go to play soccer, don't they? Because the verb is go, so it's going to be simple present. Okay. And if I if I if I want to say, for example, uh, my my middle child play guitar, plays guitar, plays okay, plays uh -huh. guitar, and isn't isn't he? No, because the verb is play, so it's going to be uh, my middle child plays guitar, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Yeah, because ah, the verb okay. is place and it's simply present. So that's why you are going to use the auxiliar of that tense. And the auxiliar of that one is, is does, because it's the third person. So it's going ah. to be in negative. Doesn't he? I'm okay, teacher. Let me check. Um, let me see. My, my friend... My friend plays. Uh, um, yes, my, my my friend plays soccer. And mm -hmm. um, I could be. Doesn't doesn't he? Good, perfect. Got it. Um, okay, I'll take it. Uh, I I don't know. Let, let me check another. Um, my mom like to cook. Um, doesn't no. Uh, yes, doesn't doesn't she? That is it. My mom likes to cook. Doesn't she? Doesn't she? Very good. Oh, Got perfect. it. Thank perfect. Okay. Now we're gonna listen to Zulma. Um, you cooked the dinner, didn't you? Good. She is very tired. Isn't isn't? Is you can dance tango. Can you? Can you? Only that. Only that. Okay, very good. Tangos are amazing. Thank you, Sandra Romero. Not possible. Sandra Gladys. Okay. Uh, you are happy today? And in you? Good. 
you are put the vegetable on this on the salt and in you okay the tour is open on monte is an is an it good the school uh -huh. um, and they aren't working for the quay um Are in, are in, are in they? Are they? Because it's a negative sentence, so the third question is affirmative. Very good, Sandra. Nice. Now, uh, Jasmine. Hello, Jasmine. Not possible. Pamela? Not possible either. Adriana? Everybody getting Hello, 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 teacher. Hello, hello. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, they didn't eat pupusa yesterday, did they? Good. Uh, he wasn't at work, was he? Okay. Caring for the environment is everyone's job, isn't it? Good. Uh, you are a student, aren't you? Very good, perfect, nice. Nelson. Hello, Nelson. Not possible. Okay, Jose Ernesto. Not possible either. Anna Michelle. Not possible either. Wendy Patricia. Okay, Mayra. Okay, everybody's going to the supermarket at this time. I can see the time. So, okay, that is fine. But it seems that every, everything is going well. So uh, it seems that the, this one is one maybe easier than the other one that we checked that was the reporter speech. So very good. That's very, very nice. So let's continue with the book. Okay, so exercise number three, it says, uh, label the requirements A or B to match the right job. So we have two jobs, web designer and content manager. So you will tell me A or B, depending on what is it. So for example, basic HTML, what would be that? A web designer. Web designer, very good. Uh, web page scripting. Web designer. Web designer. <laughs> Updating websites. Bye. Updating websites. Create, enjoy content. Uh, content manager, you mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it might be. And knowledge of SEO. I believe all of these are from web designer and the other ones are from content manager. Excellent writing skills in English. Mm -hmm. Content manager. Content manager, yeah. Create engaging yeah, content. content. Also content management. Uh -huh. Multimedia mm -hmm. design is also content management. I mean, this exercise is kind of lame. Web development, maybe this is from web designer. Maybe it's possible to require a teacher. That is true, uh -huh. yeah. 
content is, uh, content money is a little bit more wider. Uh, yeah, it's possible. That is true. Okay, so let's check the exercise. Uh, that is the conversation. Uh, and it says, I will be able to explain core elements of the interaction between social media and digital marketing. And it says, let's start. How does social media marketing influence the sales of a product or service? What do you think, people? How does social media marketing influence the sales of a product or service? Facebook. Yeah, they have definitely Facebook. Yeah, they affect you. They influence. Uh huh. Uh, Instagram and mm, what else? Mm, YouTube. Yeah, of course. I mean, you can see here that when we're watching videos, appears the advertisement, right? Maybe I, I don't understand. I mean, I understand on the website because it's there, but you can ignore it. But it's like forcing you to, to do something, and at the end, uh, it's like you don't like this product because a lot of commercial are coming. So that's my opinion. What is the role? Go ahead. The 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 influence teacher is height, uh, mainly in the new generations. Uh, the impact related to the product through influencers and in the other other strategy of the marketing digital, the, the influence is height. That is true, yeah. I mean, the impact of these kind of things now is very, very, but very high. So the world is changing. So Manuel is asking, oh, well, there was another question, right? What is the role of a blog in media marketing? I believe nowadays blog, Maybe here in the in El Salvador is not that important. Maybe in the uh, in the U.S. yes, because there are a lot of journalists, and, but here it is not that that common. But okay. in the blood is permit the participation with the comments in the blog. Um, no, um, <laughs> no, that is like more more like a community. When mm -hmm. you have a community. You post things and people are checking responses. You're uh -huh. talking about something, no? Yeah, the blog is when you have an opinion. There are yeah. people that may, that may interact mm -hmm. with that one, but it's more for an opinion, something that yeah. might happen. To describe something. Yeah, to describe something, to, yeah. An experience, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the blog can, can be about many things, mm -hmm. but it's about somebody that, that writes a paper, right? And then then you can interact with the paper by providing just feedback, but it's just the feedback, it's not like. Yeah. Okay. This is Manuel is asking Rafael for some mm -hmm. pointers needed to become a, well, there are many errors in this one, a digital marketer. Take turns practicing the conversation with a partner. So let's check the pronunciation. What do I need to do to become a great online marketer? Anyone can become an online marketer, but you have to create and publish content consistently. Then I think I'm a great online marketer already. Just look at the posts in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody is going to love my content. Yes, everyone is going to like your content until they get to the options menu. No one likes to navigate through a 10 option menu to get the information they need manual. So do you have any pronunciation questions? Mm. No, it's um, clear. Andre, teacher. I'm sorry, which one? On um, Andre. Manuel, say hundreds. Hundreds. Uh, isn't the first one, uh, Rafael, the first one or the second? I just don't get it. Manuel. Uh, Manuel. Manuel. 
Um, and there are hundreds. 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 Uh -huh. It's like the number, hundreds. Yeah. In the part of Rafael market here. Market here. Market here. Market here. Marketer. No. Marketeer. Marketeer. Mm -hmm. Marketeer. 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 Any other question? Teacher, uh, for me, a, a little pronunciation is consistently. Yeah. Consistently. Consistently. Uh, consistently. Thank you. Consistently. Consistently. Okay. Clear. Of course. Consistently. No more questions. Okay, let's practice no that. Let's see. Ada, Patricia, Linares, and Rose. <coughs> you start, Rose? Okay. What do I need to do to become a great online marketer? Anyone? can become an online marketer, but you have to create and publish content consistently. Then I think I'm a great online marketer already. Just look at the post in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody is going to love my content. Yes. Everyone is going to like your content until they get to the option menu. No one likes to navigate through a 10 option menu to get the information they need manual. Okay, good, perfect. Now, Ana, Salmi, and Gloria. Gloria, are you manual? Okay. Great. Uh, what do I need to do to become a great online marketer? Anyone can become an online marketer, but you have to create and publish content consistently. Then I think I'm a great online marketer already. Just look at the post in my blog. There are hundreds. Everyone is going to love my content. Yes, everyone is going to like your content until they get to the option menu. No one likes to nav navigate through a 10 option menu to get the information they need, Manuel. Very good, perfect. Now, Osmin and Ophelia. Okay. Hello. You, hello, there you please, Feli. Yes. I was, I do, I need, I, I to do, I to because a grace online marketing. Anyone can become an online marketer, but you have to create and publish content consistently. I guess, I think, I. A young hard race online marketing are ready. A host I love I did post in miss a blows I did are rather I I bet you be is going to love where I my content. Yes, everyone is going to like your content until they get to the auction. Menu. No one likes to navigate. Na excuse, excuse me. Navigate through a, a ten auction menu to get the information they need. Manuel. Very okay. good, perfect. So now Carla Vasquez and Wilfredo. Okay, will you start? Okay. What do I need to do to become a great online market marketer? Anyone can become an online marketer, but 
You have to create a publicity context consistently. Then I think I'm a great online marketer already. Just look at the posts in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody is going to love my content. Yes, everyone is going to like your content until they get to option menu. No one likes to navigate through at an option menu to get information they need man manual. Manual. Okay. Now, Walter, Mauricio, and Jasmine. Okay. Who start? Uh, I don't know. You can start, but let me just check. No. Jasmine, the are you like this. The fear like this. Okay, Jasmine, are you here with us? Maybe she's not here. Okay, so Sandra Gladys is going to help you. Sandra, could you please start? Hello, Sandra Gladys. Okay. Okay. Uh, Please? Yes, please. What do I need to do become a great online marketer? Marketer? Marketer. Marketer. Anyone and can become an online uh, marketer, but you have to create and publish a uh, content constantly. Then, then I think I agreed online marketer already. Just look at the post in my blog. There are hundreds. Every, everybody is going to know my content. Yes, everyone is going to like your content until they get to auction and menu. No one likes to a negative terms at 10 auction menus to get the information. They need manual. Okay, very good, perfect. Next one is going to be Sandra Romero and Zulma. Okay, teacher. Uh, what do I need to do to become a great online marketer? marketer? Anyone can become an online marketer, but you have to create and, and publish content consistently. Then I think I am a great online marketer already. Just look at the post in my blog. There are hundreds. Everybody is going to love my content. Yes, everyone is going to like your content until they get to the option menu. No one likes to navigate throughout a thing option menu to get the information they need. Manu. Good, perfect. Now, Pamela and Adriana. Okay. Hello, Pamela. Are you here with us? My guess is not. Okay, Nelson, could you please help uh, Adriana? Hey, teacher. Okay. okay. You start? Um, yes. Okay. Okay. What 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 do I need to do to become a great online marketer? Marketer? Anyone can become online marketer, but you have to create a, and publish a content consistently. Then I think I'm a great online marketer already. Just look at the post in my in my blog. There are hundreds, hundreds, hundreds. Continue. Everybody is going to love my content. Yes. Everyone is going to like your content until they get the auction menu. No one likes it to navigate, navigate, draw a 10 auction menu to get to, to get the information they need, Manu. Good, perfect. Now, Jose, Ernesto, and Michelle. What do I need to do to become a great online marketer? 
Hello, Michelle, are you here? Not here, okay. Um, Wendy, can you please help Jose? Not possible. Okay, Lourdes, could you please help Jose? Okay, teacher. Um, anyone can become an online marketer, but you have to create and publish content consistently. Then I think I'm a great online marketer already. Just look at the posts in my blog. There are hundreds. What is going to help my content? Yes, everyone is going to like your content until they get to the option menu. No one likes to navigate through a 10 option menu to get the information they need manual. Very good, perfect. Okay, uh, about pronunciation, I guess there are not many words. Consistently, uh, great. Uh, this one is kind of difficult because you have to say the two S and the T, posts. Uh, let's see what else until through, through, and that's it. Uh, about vocabulary, I don't think there are many words. What is to become? Anybody? What convert. is to convert, to transform? Very good. And then it says, uh, let's see. I don't think there are many other words. No, that is it. Okay, let's check the exercise uh, according to this one. It says, read the conversation again and complete the sentences below. So, how is going to complete the one? Can become an online marketer. How is going to be that one? Anyone? Anyone, very good. Number two says, it's going, oops. Uh, it's going uh, to love my content. So how is going to be that? Everybody. Everybody. Everybody, good. Number three, it says, it's going to love your content until they get to the options menu. Everyone. Everyone. Everyone, good. And number four says likes to navigate through a 10 option menu to get the information. No, no one. No one, very good, perfect. Do you have any questions? No, teacher. Clear no. or chat, nice. Yes. So today is Friday and we're going to use the last minutes of the class for us to practice practice day just a few minutes but anyways it's going to be a nice thing uh any volunteer no volunteer i chose let's see uh, uh, yeah walter hello teacher hey how are you i'm fine teacher i'm a little tired <laughs> yeah me too uh, yes and and today, and my company, uh, my company, we had a turning men, soccer, uh, yes, and the all the and the, all the kids the all different the, in the different department. For example, <clears throat> my equipment is uh, department design, and three three partners, and the and the the playing, the playing soccer, and and how do you say el mismo? Himself. Excuse me. Himself. Ah, okay. In so my 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 equipment, and at noon, and always, is a tournament. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> okay. And it's time uh, for the lunch, and my friends, my partner, is a soccer playing. <laughs> Hey, my, so instead of eating, they were getting some, some oh, fun yes. playing. Yes, yes. 
my friend Wilfredo, oh my God. Hey, well, Alain Madrid, Wilfredo. Alain Madrid, Wilfredo. Tomorrow? <laughs> tomorrow. We are the champion. Dream. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't fan Real Madrid, but it is going to be a good soccer match. Yeah, but, oh, yes. At, at 2 p.m. I had to be in Texas playing soccer. Oh, <laughs> yes. So, okay. So at the end, you're not going to watch the you're not going to watch the, the match. Mm, I can't believe because I, I prefer to play that watch okay. soccer match. Okay. Yeah, sometimes it's better to do the thing than to see it right there. I'm going to watch it. Let's see how it goes. It's at 12.45, right? 12.30? Yes. Okay. 12, 12, 12 and, and, yes. And 30, I guess 1 p.m., 1 p.m.? And where are they going to play? It's going to be in Spain, right? I in I France. remember that. Oh, oh in France. So that. Yeah, it's true. It's in France. But it's going to be nice, the match. I, I hope the, the Liverpool will <laughs> win the match. No, look, oh, all, sorry, the, all the people, all the people, Barcelonistas, uh, apoyar a... <laughs> A, a, a Liverpool, oh my God, no, it's, my yes. friend, no. It's the weekend for the Whites. Yeah, because the other <laughs> match, ah, yes. right? It's a, the, the other one is on Sunday. <laughs> yes. Yes. Alianza, yes. oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> that is going to be El, great. Uh, los tira piedras. <laughs> los <aguiluchos. laughs> uh, excuse me, excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry for... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's beautiful it's beautiful soccer for me it's good i live in the i lead a, a soccer <laughs> you really enjoy it's crazy. It. you're passionate hey, yes hey, oh yeah, my god excuse me my, tell me my dream it is when the fans for example fast alianza can see the, the soccer match together it is going to be nice because when Platense come, came to Quiteño to play the, the first the first match, I I remember I, I saw the the women that his husband is going to play, but he played in Platense, he plays in Platense, but she she was wearing a, a shirt fast. And her daughter wearing a platense shirt. Yeah, my. Oh. Yes, very nice. Yes. Oh. The people was the people were watching without problem. Yeah, that is the way it should be, right? I mean, to enjoy, to be passionate, to scream and do whatever, but with no violence, definitely. Yes. Sometimes people are too. You can passionate. see. I can see in the rows is Aliancista. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, wow. I don't. I don't like uh, ah, okay. soccer. Soccer huh? here in El Salvador. Huh? Sorry. Ah, okay. <laughs> I only <in> international leagues. <laughs> oh my God! He's good. He's good. Very good. So let's see, uh, let's see what happens. What happens tomorrow and on Sunday about soccer, right? It's going to be, it's going to be nice. On Sunday, what time is going to be the match? It's going to be uh, around five, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I get at uh, 3 p.m. is going to start the match. No, at yeah, 3 p.m. Ah, okay. So it's going to be, it's going to be earlier. Let's see if it doesn't rain, right? Because it's raining. This week has been raining a lot. So let's see how it goes. I hope everything goes well. And I'm not going to watch the one on Sunday, but I'm going to watch the the one for tomorrow, definitely. And a night teacher on the final Mexican. That's and true, right? Atlas Pachuca. Atlas Pachuca is going to be very nice soccer yeah. match. Ah, yes. And that's going to be and, yes, uh, and yesterday and uh, win the Atlas. Uh to see to see. Two zero. Two zero. Oh, my. Uh -huh, yes. 
And the one from Mexico uh, is going to be on Saturday or on Sunday? And, and Sunday, I, I guess. Sunday. But that yes. one, yeah, that one is around 5, right? 5, 6 p.m. Um, 7, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Yeah, I remember yes. that those ones are kind of at night. So everybody enjoy oh, yeah. Yes. Well, that's going to be interesting as well. That's good. Oh, yes. And excuse me, and the... I'm talking about the soccer. <laughs> no, of course. I mean, if we're speaking in English, that's fine. I mean, we need to practice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the older Beatriz está llorando. She's laughing out loud. <laughs> another, okay. another sport that is very, oh, my God, is the Boston. Miami hits. Ah, yeah. Yes. It's, a, it's a madness. Oh, my God. Because I like the, to... the series is tied. Uh, yes, three, three. Yes. Yeah. And 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 Saturday and Saturday and on Sunday. And Sunday, Sunday. there. See, will be Sunday? Seven uh, days. A seven games. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. What yes. time is going to be that one? I want to see that one too. I don't remember the time. Maybe around seven, I think. Something like that one, right? Maybe, yeah. I don't know exactly the hour, but it's going to be nice. With all the time out, it's going to finish around 10 or yes. 11. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that, those are very good. Those are very good. I really like that one. I like all sports, you know. Yeah. My favorite, of course, is, is soccer. But I watch tennis. I watch Formula One. I watch... The only one that I don't like that much is boxing. Because I believe that the it's kind UFC? of... The <laughs> I don't like, I like that one. Uh -huh. And what uh, kind of sport me? do you practice, teacher? I practice basketball, actually, on Sundays. Oh, my God. Oh, nice. On Sundays the morning, well. Stephen Curry, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> and you only know. three, only three. Stephen Curry, only three, three, <laughs> three, three. <laughs> three points. Uh, every, every shot. Three points. Yeah, three points and three points. Yeah, it's going to be Yes, good. and three points. And, and Sunday. I guess I'm going to watch that one. I'm going to look for some yes. time to watch that. That, that would be good. It's going when to be I good. was young, I remember that I, I, yo iba, I have and, gone. I, I used to go. I used to go. I used, I used to, go. to go to play um, Santa Lucia Park. Ah, really? Yes. But, but did you play there yeah. what? Basketball? Yes, basketball. Okay. Because I I always enjoyed to to practice soccer and karate. But some friend uh, always uh, invite me. I I I enjoy you, teacher. I just go. I used to go. I used to go with 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 day because it is it is a nice a nice sport because um, it is it is so quickly than the yeah. soccer. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Uh, you can you can uh, lost some pound in in three three weeks. You can you can lose a. Uh, some some libras pounds pounds yeah uh, because you per, uh, how do you say sudar teacher in English first by sweat I don't know sweat sweat ah, okay. yeah like sweater the sweater is for you when you sweat ah okay yeah actually I really like soccer but I'm very bad playing soccer I'm not good at all <laughs> so. Basketball is, is better for me. <laughs> it's a good exercise. And since I, I like a lot of sports, for example, tennis is one of my favorite. I just play a little bit but because that one requires a lot of uh, good condition and a lot of techniques. And it's difficult to find a place to, to play tennis as well. So basketball is much more convenient because you can play. There are many places where you can uh, play basketball. You do good exercise. That is good. Good thing. Nice. Walter teacher, he, he plays like to Fito Celaya. Oh, my. Yes, it is. <laughs> Very good. Are, are you agree with It's crazy, my friend. Excuse me. Okay, very good. Very nice. So let's see how it goes this weekend about sports. Uh, of course, you can enjoy many things. And... Um, well, we're going to finish the class of today. So before we finish, is there any question, anything else that we can check into? 
No questions. No questions, no question, teacher. Okay, very good. So, um, the 101 of today is going to be for Wilfredo. And oh, okay. let's check the attendance, okay? Uh, so, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Jasmine Lopez Martinez. Present, present. present. Okay. Very good, perfect. Uh, Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Yes. Yeah. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solórzano. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good night, present. Good night. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltran. Present. Okay, perfect. So my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night and also a very nice weekend. See you on Monday. Rest very well and dream in English. Okay, teacher. Okay. Good night, teacher. Happy I'll see weekend. you guys. Bye-bye. See you Monday. See you Monday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Okay, hello Wilfred, how are you? Fine teacher, what about you? I'm very well, very tired, but very well. Okay. Uh, it is, it is, I, I, I'm a friend of you. I, I start to go to another plant, Monte Cristo, start to, start to work in, near to, to the airport, an international park free zone. My, so you're going from Santa Ana to that place? Yeah, the, the last two weeks ago, my boss told me that I had to go to, to give support to the new supervisor and because I need to go to coaching then. Hi, my. But it, it is so hard because the traffic, it is terrible in Aye. the morning. <laughs> yeah. What time do you go? Mm. From my house, I I I go out um I don't know, uh, five five p.m. But in American Park, and uh, we take another another transportation. It is okay transportation. Yeah. Or, uh, but the company paid the another another transportation to because we. Um, we 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 start to go five six supervisor mm, we start to go to give support uh, to the for all the plants but there are there are 12 supervisors Twelve. only 12 and only one it is it is all to work in the company but it is in it is yeah, 
it is um it is not sufficient it isn't enough it's not enough uh -huh. yeah um support to the all supervision then the the plant manager monte cristo talk with the another uh, plant manager in the other plants that it is uh, it is could be possible that we could go to to give support to the new supervisor then but it was interesting because uh, we have to remember when we start to in the company uh, learning and learning and day and day but but it is it is so hard because in the afternoon when we are right to our plant i feel so tired because it is so far yeah it's far away actually that is far far away yes well and well, what about you teacher ah uh, very tired you know i was working all day long then working at night uh, tomorrow i have to work in the morning and then I'm going to rest because I really need to rest. And I've been sick as well, so all week. But anyways, we finished already the week, so that's fine. That's good. But I, 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 I didn't. I, I couldn't finish some some homework, homework because when I start class, I had to go to bed very very tired. <laughs> I had to wake up very early. Then, but tomorrow I guess to to finish. To finish, if I need some help, I'm going to text you to can help course. me with that. With some, yeah. some homework because I I I didn't have enough time to check. Sometimes my work, I in my free time, I I can work, but in this plant, I don't have any any free time because all day we have to go like a a fire uh, bombero. How do you say? It? Uh, firemen, like firemen. firemen, yes, firemen, yes. all the apagando incendios todo el día. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I know it is, it is occupational hazard, and uh, we know that it is so hard when the, the modules start to, or in, in all the people are new training, operator, and supervisor, mechanic. It is, it is so terrible work because. Man, all the people they don't know how to how they can to do to, to solve some problems. But occupational hazard teacher. Well, that's what it is, right? So we need to move on and check into that one. So I, I, in the classes, how do you feel? Do you feel that you're learning, that you're moving on? Yes, because um my my problem teacher i always think that it is and my listening because it is i i guess that it is the um, it is my top problem to learn english because when when i talk with another people sometimes i i it is so hard for me on understand uh when sometimes i i i i can't and uh, hear well some for example for example some word or verb but now i i feel so good because uh, the last the last year we went to united states with my children and all checking we made in in english but i get that i i i made so nice because i didn't speak spanish in in the, in the april very good that's nice yeah. So the next time is going to be fantastic, I guess. It's going to be very fluent. Yes, I, I hope so that because <laughs> in, in December, I, 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 this is my dream, go with my family to, to spend a, a good time with my family. And in the United States, it is a good opportunity. I, I always guess that it is like a, it is a, a, like a exam or test. <laughs> because we can say uh, i i did it or well or bad very good perfect yes okay. so please try to do the, the platform if you have questions of course you can ask me and uh, we're going to finish but is there any other any other question that you might have no it is okay teacher but sometimes i i i 
I, sometimes I I were or I was so 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 lost because sometimes I I have to go to sleep a half hour because I I arrive at home so so tired. But when I activate my my microphone my my camera, I don't know what they what you talking about. They have sometimes I I have to ask. Yeah, but then but, well, that's fine. But, yeah. yeah. Okay, but in general, I guess that it is it is so nice because I guess that I day by day I go I I'm learning so different way to to hold a conversation. Of course, perfect. Yes, perfect. I'm very happy about that one. So it was a pleasure. Rest very well because I know that you're tired, and see you on Monday. Okay, teacher. See you. Enjoy your weekend. Take so do you. Bye-bye now. Okay, teacher. Good night. Good night.